the littlest monkey. Squeaks and coos rise from the forest on Awaji Island, Japan as the monkeys wake. Two little monkeys snuggle close to their mother. Sunny is awake, but Tombo is sleepy and wants just a bit more mother's milk. Through the trees they hear, Come monkeys, come koyo! Down come the monkeys, aunties, uncles, cousins and friends all come running in the same direction. Sunny races ahead. Tombo is hungry too. He jumps on his mother's back for a ride. The two little monkeys watch through the glass at the monkey center. Inside, a little girl and her mother fill large buckets with grain and sweet potato. Which one is sunny, the little girl asks her mother. The two-year-old with the sunshine coat, says her mother, and next to her is her little brother, Tombo. Tombo, dragonfly, says the little girl. Yes, I know that one. He's an imp. When the door opens, Tombo and Sunny follow everyone to the field. The monkeys eat and eat until they are full. Tombo and Sunny fill their cheek pouches with grain for later, too. Finally, they run off to play. As the day grows hotter, hundreds of dragonflies float on the breeze. Tombo feels sleepy and finds his mother. He curls into her, her arms for some milk. Then he closes his eyes. His mother closes her eyes, too. When Sunny bounces down from the branches, ready for more play, her auntie grabs her. Sunny tries to squirm away, but her auntie pulls her back. She picks the bits from Sunny's hair until her coat shines. Then they, too, settle in for a nap. After they've napped, the aunties lead the way back into the forest. Sunny catches a big green caterpillar and eats it. Tombo can hear other monkeys breaking seeds with a pock pock sound, so he finds a tree with tangy mountain bayberry fruits too. When he sees his friends, he swings down. They chase through the trees and wrestle in the branches. A sudden gust of wind brings the smell of a rainstorm. Tombo wants his mother. He slides down a vine and runs toward the monkey center. Sunny and two of their friends run after him. Sunny jumps on Tombo, who forgets about looking for his mother as they all chase each other along a fence. Big drops of rain start to fall. Sunny hears people coming and runs off to try and get some peanuts. Tombo stops to play in the puddles. Then they climb the outside of the feeding cage and reach their hands inside for peanuts from the tourists. When a little boy finally puts a peanut in Tombo's hand, a big monkey grabs the peanut away. Tombo squeals and jumps down. He is wet and tired and hungry. Coo, he calls for his mother. Coo, he calls louder. But he still does not hear a reply. Coo, Kiki, he screams. Then he sees her way across the field and runs through the rain thinking of warm milk. He pushes his nose up under her arm. He smells it first, a damp new scent, familiar like his mother's but somehow different. Then he sees a tiny face snuggled up to his mother. A tiny hand clutches his mother's side. The new baby monkey opens her eyes and looks at him just before Tombo's mother pushes him gently but firmly away. Tombo squeaks, but his mother does not pay attention. She is looking at the new baby. He pushes himself under her arm, but she pushes him away again. Tombo starts chattering loudly. He flings himself on the ground again and again. His mother watches but does not do anything. Finally, Tombo stops. He sits next to his mother in the rain and looks at the ground. Every time he looks up, the new baby is still there. After what seems like a long time, his mother reaches out and pulls Tombo down in front of her. She grooms his back, and Tombo finally falls asleep. In the days that follow, the new baby is always there with Tombo's mother. When Tombo tries to ride on his mother's back, she pushes him off. Even when he tries to have just a little warm milk, the baby is there. Sometimes Tombo squeals and flings himself around again, but it doesn't help. The baby does not leave, and although Tombo wants some milk, his mother will only groom him. Tombo decides to run off and find his big sister. Together, Sunny and Tombo nap in the quiet of the afternoon. One morning, when Tombo is trying to catch a shiny black beetle up in a tree, he looks down and sees the baby. She is standing on wobbly little legs and looking up with big eyes. Look, says the little girl from the monkey center to her mother. She points at Tombo's big baby sister. There's little Momoko walking, so cute. Yes, and see how she suits her name, Momoko, little peach. Tombo watches from the branches as baby Momoko toddles around to explore the tree trunks. Then he comes down and touches the soft, soft baby with his hand. He sniffs his fingers. Her new baby smell is nice. Momoko reaches out her hand to touch him. 
Very carefully, Tombo reaches for Momoko and picks her up. He carries her a few quick steps, then he puts her down. He keeps one leg wrapped around her warm little body and looks at her tiny hand. Squeak, she says. She tilts her head with its big mouse-like ears and looks at Tombo with wide dark eyes. Then she wraps her arms around her big brother and holds on tightly. Tombo wraps his arms around her too. After a while, their mother comes over, picks up Momoko and settles down to nurse. Tombo curls up against his mother's knee. She grooms him. Then Sunny and an auntie walk over to groom him too. The young monkeys rest in the sun with their mother. A hundred dragonflies float on the breeze overhead. The end. <laughs>